what I'd like to start with is how you and I came to discussing your sketches. I saw them on Facebook one day and said, why aren't those in the gallery? So I've really been using social media as my primary means of communication right. and getting my work out. And I was really getting excited about doing these small drawings because I actually started using them as preliminaries for all of my paintings. Okay. And I was working with, um, of course, Kyle. Right. And oh, he really, he turned me around 100%. Oh, excellent. And he showed me how to use the sketch. And so, anyway, I was so excited about some of the sketches that I just started posting them. And you okay. saw. Yes, and your first response was, I didn't think they were good enough for the gallery. But they're so elegant. Your palette has become a lot more vibrant. Mm-hmm. Is there well, something? Is there something about that? Yeah. Well, there's a couple of things. I've learned how to apply more paint, okay. which helps. And you build up your lights. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been very fearful, I think, of building up those lights. I started as a watercolor painter, and your paper is your white. Yeah. So it has been very challenging for me to paint the light, mm -hmm. because I've always used the background as a light. So I'm finally, it's taken 10 years, but I'm finally learning how to paint the light. I think that's the biggest change is that I've always considered myself a watercolor artist who's transitioned to oil simply to paint bigger. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm beginning to learn how to be an oil painter. I can see it. Yeah. See Plus, it. I'm happy. No, I'm I can happy. tell. I, I feel like you can see that definitely in your palette. It's just. Mm -hmm. It's so vibrant and there's so much life in it. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Years ago, I was going through a challenging time and I was talking to a therapist and he said, if there's anything you could do in the world, Kathy, what would that be? And I said, I'd like to paint the color yellow. Mm -hmm. And that was it. He said, could you tell me more about that? And I said, no. It just would make me happy. And if you can tell, I go through a lot of yellow paint. <laughs> There's a lot of yellow paint, so I'm, I'm happy. When you and I spoke mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago, and I asked you about this body of work for the mm -hmm. show, and you mentioned to me that you had a conversation with Steve Gibbs right mm -hmm. before he passed, mm -hmm. and he encouraged you to use more paint. Yes. And so this new body of work includes more pigment, more paint, mm -hmm. and how did that alter you as an artist? How did that transform you and your work? Well, basically what altered me was that conversation with Steve. I mean, he was, he was dying. Um, it was his last show. Um, it was the end of the evening. It was that very quiet second opening of the Christmas show. It was a very, very quiet evening. And there were only one or two artists here. So it was, so I had an opportunity to talk to Steve and he actually called me over and said, Kathy, I, I have to ask you something. And you know, he could barely talk. So I'm leaning down and he's saying, Kathy, I just have to tell you a couple of things. And and I said, okay. He said, okay, your work, it's progressing. You're doing it, but I need to see you use more paint. And I said, okay, that will be my goal. This next year, I will use more paint and uh, get brighter. And he said, I, I think that if you can do that, you will have succeeded. My question to you is mostly about your process and um, the evolution of the pieces mm -hmm. from their stages of sketch on brown paper mm -hmm. um, and they seem to come from photos, I assume, they do. They and do. then how they work and how you um, adjust your style and kind of tempo to create the ultimate piece. The painting. Well, to begin with, I would consider myself a draftsman before I would consider myself a painter. I've always loved to draw, and something that you guys don't know, this is a little bit off, but my first figure drawing class was taken when I was, I took it when I was a junior in high school, and I went over to Fort Wright in the evenings and took my class from Gordon Wilson. <laughs> is that wrong? Yes. Wow. 
So it was my first college level course as a high schooler and we were doing the human figure. I had never seen a human figure, you know, in, in a setting. And I just remember this woman walking out disrobing and I thought, okay, I'm going to just draw as quickly as I can. <laughs> but I loved it. I absolutely loved drawing. So drawing is my first love. The first thing I want to do when I have a photo. So I'll take a picture. I don't even print it out anymore. I just use my little iPad. Mm -hmm. I just sit in my easy chair by the fire and I pull out my uh, tools and I just sketch as quickly as I can. Because it gives you this, it's, it's very freeing. Yeah. You don't have, it's, you know, it's not, it's not that important. Yeah. It's just an idea. For me, it's the funnest part of the process.